It's time to keep going with this subway scene, the scene that will never die, the scene that we are trying to crash Blender with, and that does not include the spin tool, because that will do it every time for me. <laughs> All right, I'm going to be modeling a uh, retro sci-fi desk fan uh, for you now. I'm going to do this in a separate uh, scene. This is going to be a little bit easier uh, to do. So seven to look from the top, and we'll make the base by bringing in a plane. All right, I'm going to look from the front now and go into edit mode and I'm going to hit E to extrude and let's turn on this and I'm going to bring it up just arbitrarily a certain amount. Okay, three for face selection. I'm going to select the right side and the left side and I'm going to press I to inset and I'm going to bring it in like this and now we're going to extrude outwards E and SX. That'll pull it out. Pull it out however much you want. Something like that. Let's look from the front and deselect and go into wireframe and one for vertex and D to box select. And let's grab all that and SZ zero to bring it all to the same level. And let's pull it down and give it some height. Something like that. Okay, three for face selection. And I'm going to X delete those faces. We'll go back to solid view. And this is uh, this is what we've got here. All right. Okay, uh, in edge selection, number two, shift alt and click. That's the front right there. We'll click the front and we're going to bevel. Control B, pull. Give yourself a nice section like this. I'm going to roll my mouse up a bunch of times. Get a lot of nice segments in there. I'm going to come to the back, control B, and I'm going to do a similar thing, but just maybe not quite the exact same amount of curvature. Now I'm going to shift alt and click that edge and that edge this edge and this edge and I'm going to bevel again control B and I could reduce the number of segments a little bit don't pull it too hard you know, something like this I don't want this edge here crossing over that one let's have a look at that let's go shade smooth and um, I'm not going to do anything else to it yet uh, let's just look and see if I like that. I think I'm going to scale it in the X a little bit narrower. Okay, with that done, I'm going to select this face right here. I'm going to copy it, Shift D, scale it down so I have a nice size square. I'm going to push it below here. And from the side, I'm going to hit E to extrude, and I'm going to pull it up and over a little bit. And I'm going to hit S to scale. Now I'm going to select all these edges and control B and bevel and have a number of segments in there. And this is what I got so far for my base. How about before we go any further, we'll bring in another plane and we'll make some buttons for this. Let's scale this down. Let's look from the top. I'll scale that down and uh, let's extrude up. Let's delete that face. Shift. Or what did I do? What did I do there? Hey, let's select it all. Uh, let's rotate X 180. Let's uh, push this down. And we will take this edge and pull it up like that. And I'll set the origin of geometry. We'll put a bevel on this. I'll go for one, two, maybe three segments. 0 0.02 and something like this. Let's try this. And let's add an array here. Increase the spacing. We'll put three buttons on there. Yeah, like that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is uh, we are going to select this face and delete it. And select this edge and shift S cursor to select it to bring the 3D cursor right there. I'll look from the side and shift A mesh cylinder. And for this guy, I'm going to use 24 and nothing. Okay, edit mode, scale it down, rotate X90, and just start positioning it. And we'll, we'll figure out the exact position in a bit. We'll do something like that for now. 
Okay, so here's what I want to do for the back of the fan. I'm going to shift alt and click that edge. E to extrude an S. I'm going to bring it down to, um, let's say we go to about there. And then I'm going to, um, maybe I'll grid fill. I won't we'll leave it at six. I think I'll change this to two. And then shift alt and click that edge. And I'm going to do a big bevel, control B pull way way back close and then I'm sort of trying to get the squares you know even um, the size of these and these roughly it doesn't really matter that may or may not have been enough so we'll give it a try okay we got that let's bring in an edge loop um, about here uh, we're going to uh, create some holes in it and I don't want to go all the way to the front so just somewhere in here so I can get so we can get some holes um, let's look from the side and here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to choose, um, three, maybe one, two, no, those ones, this one, this one, and this one. Uh, and we're going to make some, we're going to make some holes, uh, right there. And the same thing on the other side. So we're going to go control three and one, two, three. Three. Let me just double check that I got the same ones. I think I do. So uh, with those selected, I'm going to press I to inset and inset them a little bit like this. And then I'm going to go Control R, click and Control B, pull. But I'm going to roll my mouse back to zero. So I have just two edges going out. I don't want these to go too far. So right around maybe there and leave it at that. Okay, then I'm going to come in. In face selection, press C for circle select, and I'm just going to select all of these. I'm going to go and get all those spaces here. Make that one a bit smaller. Escape, and still selected. Come over to the other side, C. These ones. And a bit smaller. No, I got some extra. Hold Shift and click that. Okay, Escape. So I got all those. I'm going to press X, faces. All right, let's give this a try. Uh, I'm going to select everything now and E, Alt S, and I'm going to push. No, I'm going to pull. And I'm going to come in and I'm just trying to get a certain little thickness of this. Imagine a piece of plastic or metal, something like that. Let's try that and Control 2 for two subdivisions and shade smooth. Now, that's not too bad. There's really not too much stretching, actually. And you could go up to three if need be. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get away. It's going to be pretty small. Okay. All right. So I got that piece. Now, here's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to take this. And I've got these. Because I did this, I can't just copy a circle, which is what I like to do often. I'm just going to select that and shift S cursor to select it. Bring my 3D cursor there. And then I'm going to bring in. Uh, um, I could bring in another cylinder, actually. And uh, rotate X90. And just scale it down till I get the approximate size. Scale this in the Y. Push this out. So this is going to be another piece that's going to sort of fit on there. All right, like that. And, uh, you know, I don't know, a third of this length, whatever. I'm not really doing it into any specification. It's my own little fan. But here's what I'm going to do. E and S, and I'm going to come quite small. There's going to be a little bar that comes out of there. So something like that. And then I put another edge loop up near there. I'm going to bevel that edge in a minute. And another one near there. Sort of equal. Shift Alt and click there. Control B. Come back. I'm going to put one segment there. Because we're going to go Control 2 and Shade Smooth. And it's going to be like that. Let's go into Edit Mode and 3 and C for Paint Select. Or circle Select. I don't know. And click right in the middle, get those two, these two, the bottom two, and those two. So it's like 12, 3, 6, 9. <laughs> All right, now press I to inset. Come in a little ways. And uh, delete those faces. And we'll get that. All right, now we'll go into edit mode and select it all. E and Alt S and pull. And as I'm doing this, I should actually zoom in and do this. I'm looking here, Alt S, to see the thickness. I want it, you know, a little bit of thickness like that. Okay, that will give me some 
something uh, on this end as well. And so what I'll do is I'll uh, put an edge loop. I can put it here. I might put one there. Let's see if that's enough to define that. It's really not. So I need to come in here and pull one down and that'll give me that thickness. Now, maybe I want it a little sharper. So I'll just put another edge loop and put it in. Okay. That's going to sort of attach to there, but I want a bit of a gap. Um, yeah. All right, a little closer to that. Not like that. All right, we'll just go with that. Just to get the idea. Okay, so moving right along. Now that that is like that, it's not the right size, so... Let's select the whole thing and let's just scale this thing right up. Okay, getting closer, but not quite there. Scale it up again. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll go with that for now. Okay, now coming out of this, I'm going to go back into edit mode and shift alt and click, let's say, uh, give me your, there, that, that circle. Shift D, I'm gonna pull it out, P to break it out so I can use that. I'll set the origin of geometry on that guy, go into edit mode, I'm gonna pull it back in. And now I need to make sort of the, the blade assembly here. So I'm gonna extrude out a little ways, not too much. And then I want a ring. I'm gonna do that later. I'm gonna come out a bit more. Uh, the ring that the back of the grill will attach to. I'll do that in a minute, but on this one, I'll do it all as one piece. I'm gonna go E and S, I'm gonna come out. The blades are gonna actually attach on this. I'll just come out. Come forward a ways, E and S. All right, so the blades are going to attach there, and you can do whatever you want then on the front of this. I'm just going to go E and come forward and go down like this and just close it up, E and S, and then I'll just grid fill it. I'm going to bring an edge loop down, and I'll bring one forward, and then select both of these edges going around, and we'll bevel that, Control B, and I just want, uh, say, one segment in there and shade smooth and because i copied it from this piece um it inherits the subdivision surface which is fine all right i'll leave it like that for now we'll come back and work on that in a bit um so we'll have um this piece and a ring here i think so maybe i'll make that let's use uh one of these rings like that shifty pull it out um do want this bigger or smaller or the same size, I don't know. Let's pee and break it out. I don't want it the same size because then you won't be able to see anything. There won't, won't be any difference. So let's just let's just do this. And then let's shift H focus on that. And let's 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 just start it off like that. I'll probably just close it into the bar ENS. Let's bring it in like that and let's bring that back and uh, we'll put uh, an edge loop in control B I'll pull it out and I'll just roll back to zero do this kind of thing and shade smooth um, this is what those the, the back of the grill is going to attach to I could actually push it in and delete those faces and I might do that uh, but for the moment I'm just going to do this okay so there'd be a, the grill would attach to this and there'd be a hole through this is probably actually supposed to attach to the face and be uh, put on. And maybe it should be bigger than this, so we'll look at that in a minute. But let's go ahead and make the fan blades. So let's select that piece. It's circular and, and symmetrical. So let's set the origin of geometry and cursor to selected. So it's right in the middle of that. Okay, cool. Okay, so to make the blade, there's, there's different ways of making them. And as I look, by the way, in front view, I don't know if I like the width of this, so I think I think that uh, I want to scale this all in the X like this. 
possibly change the size of these buttons as well. And then just mess around with the array again. Let me look from the front. Maybe I'll like that better. I don't know. Okay, anyways, looking from the front, we're going to make the blades. And here's how I would like to do it. I'm going to bring in a circle, and I'm going to make this 12. And I'm going to go to Edit Mode RX 90. And I'm going to scale it down. I'm bring it up a little bit. One for vertex selection. And I am going to deselect or select and get rid of those and uh, i'm going to start with that okay and actually i'm going to scale it a bit more and i'll scale in the z's flat a bit okay e to extrude pull it all the way down s is at zero to straighten it and scale okay that's the start of my blade now um, I think I'll select all these and make it longer, a bit more narrow, and then you can select, let's say that that vertex and turn on proportional editing, and pull and just adjust the size of, of the circle to just to get a weirder shape like that. Let's go with uh, Control Two and shade smooth and start getting a sense of. Uh, you can do whatever kind of shape blades you want. Let's go in and give it some thickness e to extrude and yeah turn off proportional editing first and give it some thickness like this and put an edge loop this way and an edge loop this way okay and you might have to go up to three but i'll try it like that and then we'll see if we like it so well, i've got my 3d cursor right there i'm going to select the blade and I'm going to come over to uh, Simple Deform and uh, right here, Twist. And I'm going to turn this to maybe 25. Okay, and you start to get the sense of what it's doing there. Okay. All right. Well, let's, let's start with that. Let's make sure that our origin is the 3D cursor. With that selected, let's go uh, Shift D, Rotate Y, 120. And Shift D, Rotate Y, 120. I think I'm gonna select that and scale it down, make the blades a little smaller. So I'm gonna delete these ones and I'm gonna take this one, Shift D, um, Rotate Y, 120. I'm just repeating the steps, Shift D, Rotate Y, 120. And uh, see if that's, I don't know. Six of one, half a dozen of the other. You decide. Okay, we got some blades now. Okie doke. With that being done, my 3D cursor right there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the next part. So from the side, Shift A, Mesh, UV Sphere. For this, I'm going to use this to make the grill. And I'm going to want a center piece and then four lines like this. I'm going to set this to eight. No, nope, I'm going to set this to eight. And I'm going to have one, two, three, four to the middle. And then I'm probably going to use another one, maybe two. You'll see what I mean. So I'm going to go into edit mode. I'm going to rotate X 90. And I'm going to go into wireframe. And I'm going to start scaling this. And I may have to move it so that my blades are encompassing the scale this in the Y. And just start shaping it out. And we'll have to do some positioning of everything. Let's scale it some more. Looks like this blade is going through. I'm going to scale this in the Y. Just give myself a bit more room. Look from the front. Okay. I'm actually going to bring this back down. There we go. And scale. Okay, so all the flat fan blades are pretty much hitting that spot right there. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have moved in the first place. Okay. There's my start. Okay, here's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to select that and delete it. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select, looks complicated, but it's not going to be bad. I'm going to select just shift alt and click this edge, this edge, this edge, this edge, and this edge. And it's debatable if I want any more. I don't know. <laughs> so I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to go control I, and that's going to invert my selection. And then I go X edges and I have this. Okay. All right. In object mode, I'm going to convert to curve. Go over to my curves under geometry. I'm going to use my bevel uh, depth at about 0 0.02. I'm going to try that. I'm also going to go control one for one subdivision and shade smooth. Okay. So that's a curve. We're starting to get what I want. All right, so from the side, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go Shift A, Curve, Path. And there it is there. Rotate Z90. Look from the side, I'm gonna go into Edit Mode. Let's scale this down. And I'm gonna pull this. This first dot is gonna be at the top of, of this. Okay, select the second dot, G, and pull it so the dot is about there. G, pull it up there. G, G. And now we're going to take this and just position this like this. I'm going to do that. Before I go any further, I'll come over to the curves, and I'll put this at the 0 0.02 as well. And you'll start seeing uh, what we're getting at. And then you can position these wherever you want. I think I want them to intersect or maybe just be slightly more on the, uh, out on the surface. Uh, so I'm going to go back into edit mode and just just maneuver things around till you get what you like. Sometimes sort of a halfway position is good. And this one I think I'll pull in. You know, try that. I mean, you're not going to see it up super, super close, but that's the general idea of how I'm going to do those. Before I go any further, I'm going to have a central piece on this, and I want this to connect to it. So I'm going to come back to this piece here, and I'm going to Shift-Alt and click and grab a circle, Shift-D, and pull it out. P to break it out so it's its own object, and I'll set the origin and geometry on that. And, you know, just decide how big you want it. I'll make it a little smaller just for whatever sense. Uh, all right. And then I'll extrude, let's say, an E and S. And then, uh, I don't know, E and come out a bit more. And then we'll close it off, E and S. And we'll grid fill. Didn't maybe have to be so many polys, but, you know, whatever. You could throw an edge loop in here. And, um... Maybe that's good enough for now. Um, okay, so now I'm going to go to the side. I'm going to look at this. Let me just decide where I want this. I think I'll, I think I'll have it out, out about there. I'll take this piece, go into edit mode, and take this, and then I'm going to go E and G, extrude and grab, and then I'm going to manipulate this. We're only going to have to do this one time because well, we're going to copy them. So that's going to change the positioning of everything a little bit. Let's go back and have a look at that. So that's what's going to hold this piece right here. Maybe this has to be a little thicker so it's a bit more realistic. So let's just scale this in the Y. Maybe I want this out in front a little bit. So I'll just pull it like this. How's that affect the others? Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. Now, I'm thinking of the way that this is going to join. And I'll show you what I'm going to do for that. I'm just debating if I want to come in a little closer on this thing. Um, no, not really. All right. Okay, so uh, let's look from the front. Let's choose something very central like this. Let's 
make sure that we have the origin there and the 3D cursor, Shift S cursor to select it is there. So let's take this, let's set the origin of 3D cursor and Shift D rotate Y 90, Shift D rotate Y 90, and Shift D rotate Y 90 for a very simple uh, grill. Now, um, I, I want to just look and make sure the fan blades work. And also, it's now time for me to take all of this and save this as the grill because I'm going to want to try positioning it and decide if I like it. So I'll select all that and I'll go move to collection, new collection, grill. All right. So over here, I can hide that for the moment. And I want this, all this stuff, this, this, and the blades to be the, uh, I'll call it the blade assembly. Okay, let's bring that back. All right, now. It's okay, I think. All right. The way that I've seen some of these attach, uh, they often attach to this piece with another piece. And so what I'm saying is this. Let me take, um, let's see. I'll just bring in another one. You bring in another, another curve uh, path. Okay. And I will, uh, I'm going to rotate this one, rotate Y90 this time. Go into edit mode, I can scale that down. I'm going to pull this back. And um, I'll show you how this one's going to go. I'm going to actually delete a bunch of these uh, vertices because I don't need many. I'm going to want that to push into there. And I'm going to want this to integrate with that. Let's go ahead and give this the same 0 0.02. No, not there. Right here. 0 0.02. And okay, so it just it does that, which is good. I want to move this all back a tiny bit uh, so that that integrates. So I'm going to, where is that? Uh, okay, good. It's separate from the grill. So I'm going to deselect that. I want to select the grill itself. And I'm going to see if I can pull it back a little bit without the fan blades hitting the grill. Mm. I think I can. It's hard to tell. Uh, but anyways, that, that's kind of what's going to happen here. I can, I can adjust this stuff a little bit. Let's set the origin geometry on that piece. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll take all of this, move it back just a little bit, give ourselves a bit of room here. Um, but I don't like it coming off there. I think I've seen them come off at a bit of an angle, so I think I'm going to do it that way. So what I'll do, though, is I'm going to select this set the origin of geometry and bring my 3D cursor there and then take this, set the origin to the to that thing, to the 3D cursor. I'm gonna look from the front and I'm going to um, rotate Y, I'm gonna try, uh, let's see, rotate Y, let's try 15 degrees. So that was there. So it has staggered off that thing. Let's try that anyhow. Let's go look from the front now and shift D rotate Y 90. Shift D rotate Y 90. And shift D rotate Y 90. Uh, is that what I want to do? You could do whatever you wanted, really. Um, so I got one. Almost there, almost there, almost there, and almost there. And that's kind of how they attach. A 
we're close to being done. Um, let's hide this for the moment. Let's come back to here. Shift Alt and click there. Let's extrude this back in with an edge loop here. Um, this probably would be narrower than this. Let's just bring that back and see if it looks like you'd never see that anyhow. You might see it through there. I don't know if that really matters because I'm not going to close this up. Just put it to there. Um, let's uh, isolate this. Let's um, grab those. Control plus. Let's see. Do I have to control plus to there? Let's try scale shift Y. Is this important at all? <laughs> Probably not. I'm doing that in a bit of a hole. Let's give ourselves the benefit of the cavity shader. And also, um, let's take everything and move it up a little bit. And let's give ourselves Shift C, the benefit of a ground plane. And we'll scale 4, let's say. to do it this way and let's put on uh, the shadows and let's also do something like this um, what we're going to need to do you see the discoloration here I have a feeling polys are flipped so select this and let's have a close look at this as I shift as I alt and recalculate outside same with this one it's just the way that I, I built it. So I may have to go through some of this or all of it and uh, do that. This one maybe. No. I think the blades are okay. Let's bring the floor back. Uh, this piece here I can tell. Okay, watch it. Yeah, there everything looks nice now so 42,000 okay I just find that's a nice retro kind of look so that is my retro fan and uh, we'll throw that into the scene and hopefully you know you won't see it very close hopefully it'll look okay